Hi everyone, this is the first video as part of a multi-chapter set of videos for the Baylor Tutoring Center on the topic of computer science. Chapter 1 will mostly be relegated to setting yourself up for success in your CS career here at Baylor. This first video will specifically cover honor code and why it is beneficial for you to personally follow it. So why follow honor code? Well first, there's jobs, and I'll go a bit more in depth here. Um, but you stand to gain opportunities to work for some of the most exciting companies for some amazing pay through your CS degree. So how does the honor code relate to jobs? And you might be wondering this, so let me give you a small real world example. I'm now entering my senior year of college, so of course full-time employment is top of mind for me. I've been applying to various software engineering positions and completing coding interviews for a couple weeks now. And just a week or two ago, I had an interview and was asked to explain a portion of a sorting algorithm known as quicksort. I was taken aback a bit because I learned about quicksort in my second semester of freshman year and haven't used it too many times since then. So this was something I was completely surprised to need to recall. Alongside that, I've had many interview, I've had too many interviews to count where I've been asked information that came directly from my sophomore level courses, such as data structures and algorithms. So how does this relate to honor code? Um, a lot of times I think minor cheating gets rationalized as useless information that you would have brain dumped anyways. And my counter to this rationalization is that all the information that you need to learn, especially in the first two years of your CS degree, will all be crucial to cultivate and maintain throughout your career past school. The same point can be made for your math classes. I have been asked a calculus question in a software engineering interview before. Taking your studies very seriously, starting on day one, will help propel you forward to gainful employment at good internships and hopefully great full-time jobs, or if you take the academic route, toward a higher degree level. So there was a previous video made specifically for the CS department by Professor Fry about honor code, where she makes a detailed case about the ethics behind the honor code, which is why I'm focusing a bit more on this ground level viewpoint. Also, cheating in CS is often pretty easy to catch. There are software systems now that are used that can detect plagiarism within code. And I've heard of many cases from my freshman year where people were caught cheating in the introductory courses and had to either retake them or completely leave the major. So with all that said, I think the information that you will learn and engage with now will definitely pave the path to build confidence in interviews and jobs down the road. This is information and skill sets that you will continue to sharpen and use for many years. If you take your next four years very seriously, you will build great confidence and skill sets that will power you to an awesome career. So with that, that's all I have with regards to the honor code. This wraps up the first video in the Baylor Tutoring Department's CS video set. Check out baylor.edu slash tutoring to see our free tutoring options, and also stay tuned on this YouTube channel for more CS tutoring videos. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what computer science class you're taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You'll find all the details you need about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.